Welcome to the University of Calgary Point of Care Ultrasound Tutorial on the Posterior Tibial Nerve Block. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to perform an ultrasound guided regional block of the posterior tibial nerve. For some background on nerve block basics, please refer to my other tutorial on regional blocks at the mid forearm. This quick and easy block works well to anesthetize almost the entire bottom of the foot, outlined here in purple without requiring painful infiltration at the site of an injury. Using point of care ultrasound triples the success rate of the block compared to the blind technique. Here's a diagram to show you the relationship of the structures that we are interested in. Here is the anterior portion of the ankle and here is the medial malleolus. As you can see here, the posterior tibial nerve lies posteriorly to the posterior tibial artery and vein, and it preferentially tends to be adjacent to the artery. You can use the mnemonic Tom, Dick, and Very Nervous Harry to help you remember where the neurovascular bundle lies in relation to the tendons. In order to perform the block, you will need a 10 mil syringe, 22 to 27 gauge needles, recognizing that a smaller needle is more comfortable for the patient but harder to visualize, an anesthetic such as xylocaine or bupivacaine, sterile ultrasound gel and a probe cover, and something to clean the skin with such as chlorhexidine and gauze. You will also need the high frequency probe set to the nerve setting. To set it up, hit the exam button on our machine Scroll down to the nerve setting and hit select. Position the patient with the medial malleolus exposed. If possible, resting the leg to be blocked across the other leg in a figure of four position allows you good access and maintains patient comfort. When you're ready, place the probe in the transverse plane posterior to the medial malleolus outlined in white and identify the posterior tibial artery outlined in red. Look for the nerve and also identify the veins which are compressible. Next, inject a small amount of local anesthetic for skin anesthesia along the projected path of the needle entry. Then using your dominant hand, insert the needle on the lateral side of the probe using the in-plane technique. Advance the needle slowly, attempt to visualize it along the whole track, aspirate for blood, hydrodissect the tissues and inject about 5 to 8 mils of anesthetic around the nerve. Now wait just a few minutes and then you can be amazed at how well that worked. And here's a few tips. If your patient is bony and the probe doesn't sit well at the level of the medial malleolus, Try going more proximally to avoid the bony projections. If you're having trouble identifying structures, ask your patient to flex their toes to identify the flexor digitorum and tibialis posterior tendons, which will be anteromedial to the artery and more hyperechoic. Lastly, if you're really having trouble identifying the nerves, aiming for the artery without actually puncturing it, will generally get you in the right area and give you a good chance of actually completing the block. Well, that's all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much for your time.